Bonjour, je m'appelle Letitia et vous regardez DTX TV. for the 10 plus years, um, the atrocities, the pillaging, um, basically Africa's world war has happened um, off the radar. Um, but I'm sure that the powers that be in DC um, are well aware of what's going on. And, uh, but as far as uh, the media, uh, the propaganda and the way that they're able to control the flow of information um, you know, it's interesting to see when the America intervenes in certain uh, global issues such as Libya uh, or, you know, whether it's Egypt or where they support certain protesters and other ones seem to be completely silenced or um, not a part of the conversation. And, uh, you know, obviously people know that Congo, uh, if it's not the richest, it's one of the richest uh, lands in the world in terms of natural resources. And uh, those natural resources benefit a lot of people, right. except the Congolese people. <laughs>
just walked in the JFK Plaza all the way to the WFAA in front of the Dallas Morning News. We were able to actually see some people give interviews to Fox News. So we're now going to actually go in on that and see what they're talking about and discussing. We just receive in the country. We are not deserved to get what we got because we believe in what they call democracy. And the people that you see here, many of us, we believed in Obama. We have voted Obama. And we believe that democ democracy is one of the priority in this nation of America. America is not going to allow one day for a Mexican to become a president of this nation. So we, have we have come here to cry. We are not coming here to violate the law. We believe that the law of the land, we shall respect it. But we are saying to President Obama, we are the one. Yes. When he was elected, mm. he was elected as a, as, a, as a universal president. It's not only American that has voted this man in the office. It was the whole nation that really believed that Obama, when he was selected, Obama will bring justice. Even though the system, what we really want Obama to do is to, to allow the, 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 the freedom of speech in our country and also to, 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 to allow the men who have been voted but elected by the population. That's the man that we need. 90% of the nation has voted Mr. Echen Kisekeli. We really believe that he's the man that will restore our institution. Obama in Ghana, he said this, Africa does not need a strong man, but Africa needs a strong institution. That understand the, how to restore the, 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 the institution of our nation. We why, have, you, why are you protesting? Why you we have been protesting, protesting, protesting. Why? Because for 120 years we have been uh, we have been under slavery, yes. under a colonial, psychological uh, uh, slavery. And we say enough is enough. enough. The nation belongs to us. We want the man that we have elected. Uh, and uh, America, you are a great nation. You are a nation that all the nation are focusing their eyes on you. And we say, America, Senator, Congressman, we want you to go and speak and bring justice and true democracy. Because the people of Congo, the only people that they trust today is the American. But you know what? We are to a point of saying enough is enough. We want justice and true democracy in Congo. Whatever. They are killing our people in the street right now. They are pretty sing in the blood everybody that stands for the right of the people that's the reason why we're standing here because we were at the memorial uh, GFK memorial because we know that he said that when a government does not allow his people to address their grievance in a peaceful way that's when violence yes. intervened and now we have passed the option of voting because they're rigging our election they're stealing our votes that's why we want the world to know what's happening in the Congo. We don't know. Please, I'm so happy to Obama see that. Obama got change in the U.S. We and want change in Congo. This is the true, true news that what we need to see. On TV, we look at CNN, we look at all Nobody's these talking great, about it. great stations, supposedly, and they're not showing anything. No coverage. Uh, was it successful today? You think that people were heard? Ce n'est pas encore un succès, mais par la foi, nous avons déjà un succès. Are you willing to do to get Kabila out of office? Je parle à Dieu qui nous a donné cet héritage-là. Nous avons vu les enfants d'Israël quand ils ont pleuré à Dieu. Dieu a fait. Ils étaient sous l'esclavagisme. Nous aussi maintenant, nous sommes comme si nous étions des esclaves. Or que c'est un pays indépendant. Et je suis sûr que c'est Dieu qui a le dernier mot. Notre Dieu, c'est les femmes. Dans tous les pays, ils ont combattu pour leur pays, les Américains. Pourquoi on a tué la, euh, euh, le, le rebelle là C'est à cause du pays. Les Français ont connu la révolution parce qu'ils combattaient pour leur pays. La Belgique aussi. Pourquoi nous, nous n'avons pas ce droit là pendant que ce pays nous appartient. Et on a fêté les anciens combattants. Pourquoi on les appelle les anciens combattants Parce qu'ils ont combattu pour le pays. Et nous, nous n'avons pas ce droit-là. On viole nos enfants. Nous, les femmes, nous sommes violées. Les femmes enceintes, on, on, on fait sortir le fœtus. 
tout ça, nous, nous pouvons supporter. They're, they're our kids. On nous viole devant nos enfants. So much for letting me interview you. It was a pleasure. Merci beaucoup, mais qu'elle euh, qu se joigne à nous pour qu'elle puisse sentir la, la souffrance que nous portons. Quand nous pensons que là-bas, chez nous, on n'a pas mangé, ça fait combien de temps Et maintenant, il y a des étrangers qui nous tuent parce que Kabila fait venir des mercenaires. Que Dieu nous justifie.